We are getting closer and closer to high school football returning in the fall and when the teams take the field, Hilliard Bradley will have a big time addition on the sidelines. Former mentor head coach Steve Tripasano. Yeah, the legendary coach has decided to be Bradley's offensive coordinator this season. And as Whitney Harding found out, Coach Triv is ready to relish not being the head coach. Steve Trevisano and his wife Pam had big plans for his first fall without football. They had a trip planned to Italy. They were then going to go see some of his former players play in the NFL and in college. But COVID-19 canceled all those plans. Instead, a new adventure fell into their laps, becoming grandparents. That led them to Hilliard, Ohio, and that led Coach Triv back to the sidelines. I'm looking forward to any kind there's a problem. You can go see the guy over there. You know? <laughs> After 23 years, 209 wins and four state final appearances as Menor's head football coach, Steve Trevisano is excited for a new title, Grandpa. Uh, my daughter uh, announced she was having a baby in late September, early October, so obviously we my wife and I want to be down there for that. Steve and his wife Pam bought a condo in Hilliard to be near the new grandbaby and both of their daughters. And then Steve got a phone call from Bradley head football coach Mike Laparo about an offensive coordinator opening with the Jaguars. He's a legendary coach. You know, he's he's going to be a Hall of Famer. I just took it upon myself to reach out to him and, and hopefully I can learn from him and um, he can make our program better. And now we get to coach a little bit more and get with the kids a little bit more. So we're looking forward to that. The players aren't the only ones Steve is there to teach. What sold him on the job was how much Coach Laparo wanted to learn. I've said all along, even when I was retiring, one of the things I thought about becoming is an assistant AD where I could go work with coaches and work with programs, get in and help people. That leads to building young people into adults, which both coaches say is the ultimate goal. Uh, he's a great mentor and leader of young people. And right now, I don't think we can put enough great people around these young young men to help guide them and teach them as they go. You know, I think there's so much to the game of football beyond everybody there cheering and all that. It's, it's about what the life lessons it teaches, and that makes it really, really special to me. Local for you, Whitney Harding, NBC4.